Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone 4, Fear Reich and the United Kingdom. So, um, there was a lot of comments just generally spread out during the campaign I just did and just finished with, well, Germany in this mod about pl me playing United Kingdom. And in the last episode, well, the ending final episode, we also got the suggestion from Epilon 2 to play as the UK and form the Imperial Federation in UK. Well, so, well, in Fury, right? Why did I say in UK? And form the Imperial Federation. Um, I think I've done Epilon 2's suggestion before, maybe even twice. Holy shit. Well, thank you, Epilon 2. Uh, I just jumped into the game as United Kingdom and checked, and it seems to be some kind of Imperial ET colonist path. And yeah, I kind of like that path, so we're definitely going to do that one. So, backstory for United Kingdom. The Great War lasted for five long years of merciless slaughter and destruction. In the end, Britain stood victorious over the butchered central powers, establishing itself once more as the global hemorrhage. The 1931 Statue of Westminster was soundly defeated in the House of Commons and resulting resentment in the colonies for which the mother country soared relations greatly. Britain is in a precarious position, the Imperial Confederacy... Wow, that's a short sentence. Britain is in a precarious position. The Imperial Conf uh, Conf <laughs> Conference of 1937 looms ever closer in the years that follow. Britain will be faced with choices that will not only determine the fate of the Empire, but the future of Britain itself. Um, yeah, so I kind of like it. So here we have the Imperial Federation. Proposed at the turn of the century, the idea of the Imperial Federation survived the Great War, but only barely. Proposed as an alternative to, to a decentralized empire, the Imperial Federation has only in recent years become, a, um, well, attractive and uh, as a political idea due to advances in technology and communication. So I like that one. Uh, I don't think we're gonna play ridiculously elited up this time, but maybe we should do some small changes. Like United Kingdom is not in the same awesome position as uh, Germany, but we can increase it a bit. We're gonna play on regular difficulty because, well, I don't want these penalties at least as United Kingdom. But let, uh, let's do some small changes. Let's give Germany one. Let's give Soviet Union one. Uh, France can stay as they are. Italy can get a double. America one, Mexico I'm gonna give two, Japan one, and the Ottomans. Let's have the Ottomans try to become a super strong power like this. This is gonna be our massive threat, the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, I, I like that idea. Uh, idea. God damn it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I like that. So, yeah, cool. Let's begin. Uh, so, United Kingdom, we are just gonna give a general look at right now and then we'll see exactly how we're gonna play this. So, we begin with colonial unrest. Yeah, pretty goddamn terrible. Let's try to remove that one ASAP. Uh, Irish Republican Brotherhood. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, we need to. Well, so it's uprisings from the. Well, IRB. Okay, and Legacy of the Great War, well, we won the Great War, so yeah, we are once, of course, overconfident. So, uh, let's see, we have a, dem uh, de well, Democratic Victory, Conservative Majority, uh, Conservative Liberal Coalition, and the Social Coalition. Uh, let's see, I think we are gonna go down with Conservative Nation, because I believe that's the one that's actually gonna help us form the Imperial Confederacy, let's see. Uh, let's see, does anything right here actually give me anything? Well, we're of course gonna go with God Save the Queen, uh, God Save the King. I think it feels very imperial, imperialistic. Uh, let's see, does anything right here actually give me anything? Um, no, I don't actually see anything that will be, so I guess we can go any way we want, but, well, if you don't disagree with me, I will go with Conservative Majority, God Save the King, and then go Imperial Federation right there. If there's nothing, let's see, Future Britain, yes, double-checking, uh, Empire Unity, Affirm the Statue of Westminster, no, 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 okay. Uh, what else do we have right here? Uh, London Market Collapse right here, 
So basically counteract that one because it's a horrible penalty really. Actually it's a massive tree, it doesn't end right here as I expected first but no. You go down one of these two paths and then continue down all the way to, wow, that's gonna take a very long time. And wow, 500 blue power, oh god, I don't look forward to focuses that actually, well, justifies going this, oh my god, this is gonna be crazy. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, let's see, so then we have uh, Royal Military Review, just improving the military, uh, land, air force and fleet, uh, imperial development. Let's see, so basically helping our colonies a bit. Okay, that, well, that's actually kind of nice. Getting this one would be very nice actually, one research slot, and but it's a lot of focuses right here, so we'll see. We'll see what we have time for before, well, the more critical things like democratic victory and London market collapse focuses come forward. Actually, maybe that could actually be something we could focus on. Just getting this extra resource slot ASAP, but does anything right here actually give me anything right there? Yes, that's a 2.5% research speed, that's some resource gain efficiency, and this is construction speed, okay. But we need all of them to, yeah, God damn it. okay. Uh, here we could, um, yeah, we could begin this entire thing and get some bonuses right here. Ugh. Uh, Monster of the Sea, okay. I think the only thing that seems proper is first we're gonna take forward a couple days just to make sure that it's not an event or anything pops forward or the long London market collapse or anything like that um, and then we're gonna continue. So I'm beginning with the rifle level 1 right there because always pick the rifle if you can. It's just one of those critical things you should always update whenever you can. Let's see, military wise, we have 20 factories right here. I'm gonna assign 5 to infantry, um, 3 to support. I'm gonna assign 5 there. I'm gonna get, let's see, do we have any kind of carrier fleet right now? Yes, we have 4 ships or 4 carriers. Uh, first, I'm just gonna get around, well, our entire fleet right now back to the English mainland. That's everyone. And yes, well, everyone go back right here to Greater London. Nail base, uh, so that means we're gonna get some carrier fighters and carrier naval bomber right there, just one factory each. And then we're gonna get some interwar bomber and some close air support, please, like this. And then we're gonna increase you to one, you one more, and you one more. Thank you. That would probably be pretty f well, pretty good. And uh, then we're gonna start building up our civilian economy, it's gonna be well, ridiculous, it's gonna take such a long time, but we're gonna do it slowly but sadly. And then we have 40 divisions currently split around the entire world. So, should we pull back everything to the mainland and then split it up, or should we try to keep any kind of... Well... Should we try to keep it somehow how we have it right now? Actually, wow, we can actually help with this Indian revolt. We should probably do that if we can. Uh, both of these 20 divisions split up right here. I don't think my units will be needed anywhere else. So why the hell not just send a full, well, fully armed army to support this. So we're gonna get around like this. I think every, everyone is gonna come from the south and help and do like this. So everyone try to get there. So if we're like alpha build 0.1.3. Uh, month of blood toil feel like can finally uh, release hard time for seven months. Okay, that was the same ones before only the important ones Thank you. So everyone is gonna gather up right here and try to well counteract that and That when I say everyone I mean everyone everyone is gonna get over there So and uh, nothing seemed to happen the first couple days state of the empire interest time ahead So here's an extended version of this. Um, let's see with the promise of the main full recognition um but yeah, we slaughtered that. So I promise us Victor Hubers, British Police, and yeah. Uh, let's see, mass unemployment in colonies. So yeah, we have we have a couple of rebellions left and right that we need to fix. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, do we have any kind of air force right there? No. So let's grab a bit of this. Thank you. All of you are gonna well jump down right here and see if you can help us right here. So I'm just gonna go for overwhelming support. Oh, wait, what the hell happened? Make that frontline, please. Thank you. 
and you're all supposed to have this. What the hell happened with the front? It just disappeared. So everyone please gather up right here as soon as you bloody can. It might be overboard sending all my mainland units, but sure. Okay, 11 days passed, nothing more have happened, so I'm gonna con continue down right here. Since you can save up 10 days, I didn't really lose anything by this. But uh, let's see. So, are we gonna go here or here from the beginning? I think I'm actually gonna improve Imperial Development first. Oh wait, is that only 7 days? So we just instantly finished it, okay. Uh, anything right here is just, well, improve everything, so what do I want first? I think I want the construction speed first. Actually, the research speed first would be very nice. Oh, we need all four of them anyway. Okay, then it doesn't really matter. Then let's just go by one by one. And now my troops are gathering up right here. Let's see if we can surround a small little unit right here. Okay, cool. That means we can extend this front line and cover the entire thing. Thank you. So, come on units, get over here. Defend Empire. God. Well, they're going down there quite quickly, so yeah, just keep at it. Uh, peaceful ending at midnight, more than a king, father, father of a great family. George V is dead. And we got King Edward VIII. Okay, welcome, welcome King Edward to the family. Oh, I, I don't know, no, that doesn't work at well. Welcome, God save the king, long live the king, that's the word. Uh, let's see, so gather up right here, yeah, we are finally getting some kind of sizable force down here, but it's still not close to enough what I want. Uh, let's try to surround this uh, assassination of uh, of the Turkish king right there, or Turkish sultan. So, well, we'll see how, uh, how everything happens right now. Portugal asks for our assistance, uh, Britain threatens to embargo us, we have no power for this. So, should we help the Portuguese? Yeah, we should probably help the Portuguese. For now, at least. Uh, oh, really? Really? You surrounded that? Uh, let's see. We have one un a couple units right here getting surrounded. Cool. Uh, let's see. An invitation to Paris colonial exposure. The French are bright an invitation to... Uh, let's see. Pontus Fessa sort of political mood to change the face of the colonial empire. They also have to attend for the same purpose. While... Uh, let's see, some nations are very vocal against the Paris Cloud. Uh, we are not participating in the politically charged display. No, I'm, I'm not gonna participate to that. It seems some kind of colonial freedom thing. No, that's just a straight out no for me. Uh, let's see, okay, since they once again blocked this and it doesn't seem like anything will change quite soon. So everyone just gather around right here and we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see, let's clean out that province at least and then we might do the same thing right here as well just take this down oh really really you managed to group that together then it's well then it's unnecessary for me to try to unite this uh, let's see where are all the units yeah they're finally coming holy shit it's taking you a while to get there but as soon as you arrive right here we shall most likely just slaughter the Indian revolt uh, we should probably call in the rest of my allies maybe uh, we are in the war right yeah is there anyone else that could help us with this well uh, yeah pretty much everyone but I doubt they have any good or good amount of troops to actually help so I'm just relying on them to actually build send some volunteers and holy shit I've got to reorganize all the naval bases we need to do that so convoys we need five of you uh, I just try to have that as a pretty much standard uh, let's see light cruisers uh, wow why are you at home for this uh, let's just hide you, heavy cruisers, let's see, yeah, nothing wrong right here, no, nope. then hide that heavy cruiser, have that battle cruiser, battleship, uh, that's your battleship level 2, then we can hide that one as well, cool, and the same with these submarines, uh, so I'm gonna build some light cruisers to this, I'm gonna build some battleships, and I think I'm gonna add some more destroyers as the beginning, so, you are going to be at 10 factories, 10 factories, 10 factories, and, well, the rest, I think. No, wait, let's ignore that one. We don't need you. We have enough. Uh, let's see. Group that together. Thank you. We have one fleet. Nice. So everyone is going to join up this. Thank you. Uh, I might actually do like this. Let's go down that. There we go. So five factories on destroyers, 10 on the battleships. And now my troops are finally arriving right here. So we can actually have, well, a sizable army. 
helping uh, helping out our colony instead of well whatever we had so everyone can actually sh go in as soon as they can and what the hell is that no everyone shall only be gathered in the south and try to help out this way no stop it there we go and now go in whenever you can if they're empty provinces just clean them up and save the units that I've sent over otherwise yeah Otherwise, ignore it, but save the units right now. So, Indian Revolt, goodbye. You're going to be destroyed by the might of the British Empire. We have lost a single unit so far, but yeah, it's going to work itself out. And um, we're missing 5k weapons right now. Yeah, we're going to miss a hell of a lot more. Uh, what? A few short out Paris uh, clone exposure. Uh, let's see, France after exit recall. Uh, let's see, have decided to hold a festival displaying the, yeah, multitude of nations participated, uh, possessing colony, nonetheless, event is planned to continue for a few months, seems like they're y trying to justify the imperialists, god damn it, then that would actually have been something I wanted to participate in, damn it, uh, please save these units, if you can. But yeah, now finally the entire British army is now arriving. And it seems like they would, well, British Raj would most likely have lost if I hadn't actually helped them. Uh, loyally rewarded, aiding the eldest. So, oh, we are actually going to get some stuff and choose between what they're going to get. Uh, let's see, do we need anything or should we just try to build them up as much as possible? I think we're just going to build them up. So adding, well, free civil and factories right here would be pretty goddamn awesome. Thank you. Uh, welcome. Well, there we go. Uh, so I should have picked Yule of the Empire right here. So we could actually, well, build them up even more. Hopefully helping them to win this civil war. God damn it. Mistakes were made. So we have only made two mistakes. And it's like 16 minutes in this ep campaign. Holy crap, this is gonna end badly. Uh, we have 10k men right now. God, we are losing men very, very quickly. So I'm gonna take half of these men and just delete them. That's gonna give me 33 thousand manpower and that's hopefully gonna help me and it's also gonna lessen the well issues we have right now so how we, how are you doing right now 26,000 men we have lost 8k uh, I'm gonna take this guy and you're gonna march for Calcutta negotiation with rebels uh, oh wait launching the age mayor Tras Flaglar okay uh, let's see Dockyard Empire construction that's bad ship history not necessarily symbol of strength so we got a ship. Yeah, we got a ship. We got a super heavy battleship ship. Okay, thank you. Uh, negotiation with the rebel leaders. Uh, as the revolt sp uh, quickly spreads under control, it's clear that both government and British army chief that this rebellion will take significant time and amount of equipment manpower to put down efficiently and even then may not succeed. With this in mind, several houses of commons put forward. Uh, let's see. The proposal of Westmin uh, when Mr. will guarantee Indian autonomy will be increased on upcoming Imperial confer uh, Conference. <laughs> no. Proposal diplomatic solution? Yeah. If Indian uh, but not man come years, so they will surely see a large revolt or they will suffer the same fate as all those rebel against the Empire. Yeah, we're gonna remove them. That's why we put our entire army right here. So, a good move right there. So, two faults, one good move. I, I say I say it's a win. Uh, Delhi. Oh, actually, we took Delhi and just <laughs> kept it. That's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna do like this right now. Royal infantry. I'm just gonna ask, let everyone be the royal infantry, except actually these two cavalry brigades. But yeah, the rest of you just try to become something better, please. Uh, let's see. We can't do any law changes right now. We could actually try to go up to well extensive conscription right here, but I doubt I want to. Why can't I go? Oh, so I can I can jump one of these laws because uh, we still have splendid isolationism. Huh. Uh, let's see, you're gonna go in right here, and let's see. Yeah, Indian Vault are suffering quite badly right now. So I'm gonna tell everyone to be super aggressive right now and just bring this down. Take every single province as quickly as we possibly can. And we need kind of to save this unit in Delhi, but I doubt we'll actually arrive there within, well, reasonable time. Empire Day. <laughs> uh, King of Porto declares war on Portuguese Republic. Jolly good show. Army Johnson flies to South Africa. 
very nice. Uh, so Empire Day, celebrate the year release since the death of Her Majesty Queen Victoria. Empire Day has once again come to pass, widely acknowledged throughout the empire. They uh, represent the bond between uh, the bonds that bind the empire of those who make our family. <laughs> okay, Empire Day, cool, nice. Uh, let's see, you're gonna go in right here and take that city, please. East Bengal. And while you are actually manu well, by your own will surrounding all of these units, you know, yeah, clean that out, please. That would be nice. Um, let's see, right here, I think if we just took luck now, um, we might end this revolt. So it would be pretty awesome if everyone could just focus there a bit more. Instead of saving this unit, let's just try to end this war before that unit actually, actually loses, which uh, might be... Uh, come on, we're so bloody goddamn close. Uh, let's see, let's upgrade the weapons as soon as we can, and I'm gonna continue down, I think. No, wait, 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 we need the anti-air guns. Oh god, we need a lot of stuff. Uh, let's begin with the Hawker Hurricane, thank you. Uh, let's see, you guys get in right there. You stop, you stop. Yeah, god damn it, they took Delhi back. So let's focus right here and, well, take both of those cities straight away from them. Uh, we are missing manpower right now, but we are growing quite well right now. Oh wait, that's actually Indian manpower. We're taking a single province. Gaining that manpower, oh god, that's, uh, that seems a bit weird, otherwise I don't see how else we would have received 6,000 manpower. So, uh, let's, oh god, that's a lot of resources you get. Oh, that might be a bit too tempting. I really want to do your civilian factories, but that's a hell of a lot of resources. Do we need any kind of it? No, not really. So, let's just give them civilian factories. Let's give them the civilian factories, they're gonna need a lot to actually rebuild this war. Well, re not rebuild this war, rebuild their nation after this war. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, go in and take Delhi, please. Uh, King Command. So, uh, much like your father, King Edward, uh, father before him, uh, strong will man, the uh, shrinking of many pr uh, proactive mes uh, measures employed by the uh, household guard, our new king deployment to be seen as man of people. Something says can't be accomplished with a large man of bodyguard follows him around. King Command, we maintain the number of bodyguards nearby, whether he likes it or not. So this might be some kind of, it could be an assassin event coming up forward, but we might lose some political power because he's not seen as a great man, but I would like to avoid any kind of political scandal or something like that by, well, him getting assassinated. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it and actually force him to have a bit more bodyguards, even if it's, if, even if they stay away a bit more. Uh, let's see. When we carry in hundred stones of earth and stone, the rapid became blocked by. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, let's send the help right there, and make sure that doesn't spiral out of control. Uh, let's see. This province will probably not be necessary. Just go in and take Delhi, and well, we'll be done. Hopefully. Uh, let's see, more research slots available. We are going to continue down. I think the industry path right here with disperse industry. Thank you. Come on, take Delhi now. Don't let them stop you that much. Come on. Uh, let's see, what kind of unit are you? You're a good unit right there, so I'm going to use a force attack move right here. And make sure we actually break this. Come on, you're almost breaking that. You're very close to breaking it. There we go. You're now being attacked from two directions. Let's even make sure it's more than that. King Ever survives, uh, survives assassination attempt. There we go. <laughs> Some luck at last. Yeah, indeed. God damn it. Well, I guess that would have been, well, me getting assassinated, and that would probably have led to something pretty goddamn bad. Uh, friends in far flung. Uh, let's just do next one right here. Come on, and then we're attacking it from the south as well. Let's go in like this. Come on, just surround Delhi and take it down. Come on, they are so very close. Oh, crap. We never assigned anything right there. Oh my god. We never assigned our entire Air Force when it came. There we go. Come on, end this. Thank you. So, we could actually annex this territory instead of giving it back to the British Raj. Ooh, that's very interesting. That's very interesting. Um, 
So they have a bit of ugly borders right now. Oh, God damn it! I really can't... How can we... How can we... I possibly justify this? How can I possibly justify to you to annex this territory myself? We do own a bit right here, but... Yeah, no, I, ca I can't do this. I can't do this. I, I can't be that mean. So we're just gonna unite the Indian, yeah. There we go. Butch Rosh, get back your territory. Thank you. Uh, and since it is a civil war, technically, that it should only be able to end in one way, which is British Rosh gaining back all their territory. So there we go. That's the end of that. Uh, we're gonna send back all units now to the homeland and we might split it up a bit later. So everyone got return and we'll see what to do with you. Uh, let's see, construction effort, uh, no, hmm. Uh, let's get the extra artillery pieces right now and upgrade that. So you should be pretty goddamn strong right now. 16-4, yeah, I like it. And there we go, Republican Spain seems to be in the lead right now. That's interesting. Uh, let's see, Head of Intelligence, I might want to do you because I need more pulley power. This is Land Doctrines. Uh, let's see, can we change this one somehow? No, we can't. Because, well, planned isolation, we have to do something actually serious right there. Um, what do you do? Okay. Wow, 15, yeah, I would very much like that guy. But is there anyone I don't care about? It's really you. But right, 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 there are different ones for every, everything. Uh, let's see, just yes, five war goal time. Stability. So, yeah, so these are a bit better, I think, than you. Actually, all of these are better in one way or another. Head of government. I guess I can't change you now. <laughs> we can sense we can't replace that with government right and left how we want it. Well, we're gonna keep it as it is right now. And actually, let's see who are we actually gonna put in right here. I think we're gonna get. Huh, interesting. So this improves maybe those. So either it's cleverly done, saying that, well, pick the electronics research, but then you're gonna get the factory construction speed bonuses, or you get the industrial research time right here. But you get them, um, well, resource. So uh, they might be the other way around. But um, let's see. I think the 10% extra like resource, god damn it. Now we're gonna get just this one. The 10% research time reduction for in industry is gonna be more important than the 10% increased construction speed for industry. So let's get that one. Thank you. Everyone is returning. Very good. Uh, right, decision in, <laughs> decisions available. We can intervene in the Spanish Civil War. We're not going to do that. Uh, large nation war games. Assist Canadian development. Indian development. Release extra poli uh, political fu uh, funding. Launch political reform. Construct uh, construction contract. And similar things. So yeah, that's pretty good. All of these. But nothing that I will do right now. It's only when you have tons of saved up your power. Those are available for you. And let's see. God, we are not going to do very much this campaign. We just had a long bloody civil war with India. And that's pretty much it. Well, that could be argued to be... We have done a lot of stuff. Yeah, it feels nice that we actually did it. If we would have sent it away a bit later. We would probably just have to accept that peace deal. Oh god, that would have been horrible. But instead we won it by, well, we just destroyed them and really outclassed them. Very nice. Uh, we're missing about 60k. God, we, maybe we should have waited with that to one. Just jumped the uh, focuses right here. Or jump, jumped the uh, loss, not focuses. Yeah, whatever. I think we'll work it and work out. Work it out quite soon. Uh, let's see could actually go down right here and let's see I'm probably gonna go with a bit more infantry heavy well infantry heavy build this time because we're gonna need more troops because we're gonna be so spread out everywhere we're gonna focus a bit more on defensive measures than offensive measures aka tanks since we have such a large colonial empire we'll probably need to be spread around since I'm yeah since we're gonna try to basically integrate the entire empire I think we are probably going to need some kind of forces to beat down civil civil wars and stuff like that uh, for them to, uh, well, gracefully accept 
their integration to the Empire. Uh, the Diamonds of Natal, thank you. So, yeah, I think we're just gonna continue right here. More civilian factories for everyone. I think that's the best choice. And let's just, let's just try to fix this ASAP then. Let's just try to fix everything. There we go. Uh, okay, anything else we can do right now? Yes, one thing we can do is say thank you guys for joining me for this episode. Hopefully you will enjoy this campaign and, well, hopefully join me in this, well, hopefully glorious integration of col uh, colonial empires. Well, we're gonna create an uh, Imperium and hopefully bring down Germany and everyone that opposes us. So thank you guys for joining me for this episode. Like, comment and subscribe if you like liked it, have anything to comment and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs> bye and bye.